How much does it cost Santa to park his sleigh? Nothing, it's on a house. Today, I'm going to recap a 2015 action thriller film called 12 Rounds 3 Lockdown. A quick warning, there will be major spoilers ahead. Detective Burke and his two men infiltrate the house of a drug dealer George Fremont to ask where the evidence is containing Burke is distributing narcotics. One of the men shoots Fremont's laptop that contains evidence. While the men searching for backup evidence, Burke shoots Fremont, killing him. Detective John Shaw returns to active duty at his precinct after the death of his partner, Ray Jones. Some of his employees are now looking at him as he comes back to the office. Then the employees make a round of applause to Burke as he enters in the office and makes a brief remark of George Fremont is no longer a threat. Later, Shaw and Burke practice shooting a gun. The flash drive, disguised as a credit card, contains the same evidence was retrieved during Fremont's autopsy. The flash drive was surrendered to the evidence cop. Shaw reads the incident report claiming that Fremont opened fire at Burke and his men. The incident report that he reads are all lies. Shaw learns that the flash drive might contain the related incident. He goes to the evidence cop to retrieve it. At the same time, Burke at his home receives a call from someone saying that the evidence of George arrived and quickly heads to the precinct. Burke summons his men to meet at the precinct. After looking the evidence, Shaw heads to Captain Matthews' office regarding the evidence. While waiting the elevator to open, Burke and his two men approaches to Shaw. After they got into the elevator, Shaw accidentally drops the flash drive to floor and one of Burke's men picks the flash drive and give it back to him, which is unknown to him that he picked the evidence. As Shaw gets out from the elevator, Burke receives a call from his crew that Shaw has got the evidence, so they quickly find Shaw in order to retrieve the evidence. After Shaw found that Matthews is not in the office, he realizes that he is being hunted by Burke and his men. Burke then pressed the fire alarm so that the employees can evacuate the building in order to find Shaw easily. Once the building is evacuated, Darrow takes over security control to monitor Shaw's whereabouts and he initiates the total lockdown and disables all the phone communication and networks. Shaw has only 12 rounds left in his gun and makes good use of it. All of the people have now evacuated except the officer Taylor, newly graduated from the academy, as being locked inside, despite she is using the card key. Shaw sees Officer Meeks, worked on Burke to find Shaw, then held hostage as Burke appears. Seeing this opportunity, Burke shoots Meeks and Shaw drags his body into the elevator. All throughout, Burke frames Shaw for a homicide he didn't commit. With Shaw is still in the elevator, Burke radios Darrow to shut the elevator, but he managed to escape before they find him. Shaw goes to the locker room, but the henchman confronts him and the two have fight. Shaw ultimately kills the henchman by pounding the head with the barbell weight. Then, Shaw meets Taylor and he told her to hide, not telling Taylor what's going on inside the building. Shaw goes to the parking lot which is Darrow alerts the men for his presence. Shaw goes for hide beside the car, but, as the henchman moving behind him, he fires two rounds at him. After the henchman fires at Shaw, he makes an escape by driving while finding an exit. Shaw is hit by the bullet to his arm. The henchmen continue firing at the car, but they find out that Shaw went to the nearest entrance. Burke sees Taylor and invited her to walk with him to the security control. Burke then speaks through the PA system with Taylor, asking her brief questions and then he tells Shaw to show himself at the CCTV camera where he can see any in the monitors in five seconds or else he will going to shoot Taylor. Shaw shows himself to the camera, and then he alerts his men that he is on the first floor. Burke then shoots Taylor anyway and the gunshot is heard by Shaw. After he outran the henchman, he goes to the office to put the bandage in the wounded arms. Shaw tries to escape as Burke and his henchmen see him. The henchmen now surround him, but he gives a chance to escape by firing a taser to the man he killed, enable a handed gun to fire at Burke and his men. Shaw heads to the server room and messes the wires to disable the CCTV cameras. Shaw then reactivates the network in order to upload the evidence regarding Burke to the police department. However, Darrow notices that the network is activated and he struggles to deactivate it. Unfortunately for Shaw that Darrow successfully deactivated the network just moments before it finishes the upload. Frustrated by this, Shaw goes to the rooftop in order to get the signal and make call to Matthews. Shaw convinces Matthews that he is the innocent and Burke is corrupt at all. The henchman found him and after some fight, Shaw pinned out the grenade, blowing him. Shaw then sees Burke and put a cuff on him. 
After they got into the elevator, Burke secretly has its own key and manages to unlock the cuff and tries to subdue Shaw. He goes out of the elevator with Burke still inside. The three henchmen fires at Shaw, hitting the bullet on his hip. Shaw then goes to the office to put some bandage in the wounded hip. After that, Shaw aims his gun to the henchwoman, but she tries to subdue him until he fatally shoots her. After Shaw manages to kill another henchman by stabbing his neck with the knife, Darrow and Burke capture him. Both held Shaw capture inside the room and ask him where the evidence is. As Shaw hands it over to Burke, he quickly destroys that. Burke then manages to incapacitate Shaw, but as the SWAT team cuts the power, Shaw gives an opportunity to kill Darrow and try to fight between the two. After being encountered with the SWAT team, Shaw calls Matthews to meet her at the back of the building. Finally, Matthews make it to meet him, but only to reveal herself that he is working with Burke. He then shoots Matthews to make even think that Shaw killed her. After a several minutes of confronting Shaw, the SWAT team burst inside and he assumes to them that Shaw killed her. Before Shaw is about to be arrested, he plays a recording of Burke's confession to them. Burke attempts to shoot Shaw, but he fires the last round to his leg. Shaw cups his hand and walks out to the building. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy, hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice just to be sure. You should watch the full movie. Thank you very much for watching.